Arsenal, Arsenal have arrived again. Arsenal, Arsenal, the Gunners are here again in the Amex Stadium. And uh, well, it's a big one, isn't it really? It's a big one today because we could be helping Man City. We could be helping Liverpool in, you know, the little title race. So um, look, if we do get a result out of Arsenal today, you can thank us later, Liverpool fans, all right? You can thank us later. We'll see, let's see what happens. So, amazingly, as you can see behind me, construction work is underway. The Seagulls are building the brand new fan zone outside the ground. It's a construction site out here. Look at it. It's all dusty and everything's moved. If we turn around the camera, all the way over here, it's all moved over there at the moment for the time being before this thing gets built, hopefully for the start of next season, as we have talked about in a few uh, match day vlogs ago. But yes, it's going to be big. It's going to be amazing. And I cannot wait until we can see a two-story fan zone here outside the ground. That would be great to get some interviews in as well, won't it? Just damn. Can't wait. The amount of fans here though, waiting for these Arsenal players to come out, it's incredible. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can remember these guys, but they were on a New Year's Eve not too long ago, if you guys can remember. And we're back again, you guys are making a return, part two. So what do you guys think about today's game? Obviously, you know, Brighton against Arsenal once again. Um, I would say that lots of our players are fit and with Yuri and Timber out, it's going to be a huge uh, struggle, uh, a lot. and. Mm. We would have won most of our games if we had them. And who's going to score as well? 5-1. Uh, 5-1 uh, today? <laughs> I want to ask you guys about like uh, Leandro Trossard. He's an ex-Brighton and now he's coming back. What yes. do you reckon about him? He, he's been fantastic. He's been delivering. Um, it's funny because we talked about that last year during the we transfer window where I said, you know, if we pick up a couple of good players, that would help. Like I said, Trossard, he might not start. He's a squad player, but he's happy. He looks like he's happy. He's enjoying his time and he's fit into the squad really well. Yeah. But Trossard's been money. Yeah, 25 yeah. million cheap, cheap, cheap. We 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 kind of robbed the bank on that one because I don't think he's worth 25. He should be selling at 45 yeah, to 50 yeah. million easily. Brighton's best. Yeah. <laughs> the man said we, he had an open pass to Martinelli and he could have scored, but he didn't want to because sometimes he's kind of selfish. Yeah. Our prediction. I think last year what we said, I think I said. 4-1 or something like that. Good Anything memory, very good two. memory. Yeah, yeah, I think this year, well, this year I don't think you're strong at the back as you were last mm -hmm. year. So Definitely I think there'll agree. be goals. Uh, and then we're even stronger at the back this year. I would say 3-1. 3-0 type of yeah. game I'm feeling. I could I could see us keeping the clean sheet. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know. Well, it means everything, everything, right? Because you guys are going for the title. Yeah, so you need yeah, this. we're pushing hard. And you could tell the players are focused because when they got off the bus, they didn't even talk to anybody. They just went yeah. straight in. That go. tells, you know, people are focused. That's it. That's they're ready, it. you know, they're ready to win that prize this year. Incredible. And look, you guys are from Canada. I want to know what you think of the Amex Stadium coming in, you know, from Canada. I know you've probably been to a few stadiums now yeah. as well. But what do you rate the Amex? This is your second time here, so yeah, it can't be too it, bad. It, it's it's to me it's it's one of the best away Is away it, stadiums. Really? Yeah, it's a beautiful stadium. It's okay. new. People in Brighton are nice. Ah, I can wear my Arsenal kit without feeling yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's gonna be trouble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, it, it's it's what I love about it. It's like you can bring your kids to the game and nobody's gonna bother you. It's it's a very I, I like I'm from Canada, right? And yeah, I've been all yeah. over the UK. And Brian, like I said, some of the nicest people I've ever met is, uh, wow. you know, when I come to Brian, people are, like are there taking my son and like, you know, taking pictures and it's yeah, just yeah. wonderful atmosphere. I, I love the Amex and I love the Brian fans. That's incredible. Yeah. Thank you so much for no coming problem. on. Really no appreciate problem. this. No Thank you very much, buddy. Yeah. High five for that. Thank you. Okay, we're here with all of these Brighton fans here today. We've got some amazing scarves. Is that Japanese? Japanese. Wow, Japanese. We absolutely love it. Guys, I want to ask your score predictions for today Brighton versus Arsenal uh -huh. uh, I think it will go 2-0 Brighton actually yeah favorite player do I dare to ask Mitoma yeah. <laughs> love Mitoma it's all of your favorite player Mitoma, Mitoma, yeah. love Mitoma. what do you reckon today score prediction 2-0 2-0 yeah. yeah 
there to Brighton. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> Score prediction? 3 to 0. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same. 1-0. One, 1-0. One nil. One nil. One nil. One nil to Brighton. What do you reckon? 2-1 two on Brighton. 2-1 two on Brighton. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Right then, Tone. That was good, doesn't it? What do we reckon? The new fan zone, is it needed though? Because I think it is. We needed something fresh out here. You know, we're becoming a bigger club now. We needed something, you know, a little bit of showpiece outside and a little place to get people, fans together before the game and even after the game. More after the game as well. Yeah. Because I think, you know, after the ground, people have got to get away. They can stop now. They haven't got to rush, get to the, you know, because of the, uh, the situation with the transport yeah. and trains, etc., etc. It will stop people and they will stop, have a beer, yep. have a chill out, talk about the game, and be out with people, and it will be a nice sort of uh, point for everybody to join in. Hopefully, away fans as well. Definitely, and uh, I think it'll be nice to get some interviews in there, do some interviewing kind of stuff. But I say it again, you can come here early. Especially if it rains. A lot of people don't want to be standing out here when it rains, but they can all head in the fan zone for it. I think it's a great idea, and I'm very, very glad to come here today and see it all get running and all under construction. Tony, Bosch, Bosch. Big away end here for the Arsenal lot. Come on, Brighton! Already a chance here for Arsenal. What are they doing there? That was a bit weird. Go on, Julio! Yes! Stand up to Ben White. Go on. I love it when Julio does all that. And I do too. Julio! Come on! Oh, Julio! Julio! Come on! Great atmosphere. Go on! Is he so. No! 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 Keep going! Saka! Dangerous! Very! What a save! Wow! What are you on about? Referee's having a joke! Referee's having a joke! Oh! Are you joking? Of course, it's too far away from here to really see, but. I don't know. Oh, we'll see. Saka, think about the Euros, mate. Think about the Euros. Remember the Euros, mate. God. Something of it. He's gonna to want to shoot. He's trying to shoot. Yep. Oh, Come on! There we go! Crowd love that. Second half has gotta be better than that. Gotta be better than that. Second half, here we come then. Surprise me in one bit. Does not surprise me. And the red flares come out as Arsenal bang in the second. Tyre race is really on now up there. I don't know. Outplayed. Oh, 
tidy starts from the away end. And Leandro Trossard with Martinelli coming on. Just getting better. Oh, Leandro Trossard, look at the booze. Oh, he's going to go for it, isn't he? Surely, right? Good save. Definitely, uh, Bart's been good today, I will say. Leo, 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 shouts the away fans. And that's to rub the salt in the wounds. Arsenal go top, and Leandro Trossard scores the last one. Go score for Arsenal, number 19, Thanks. Leandro Trossard. Right then, Josh, here we are then, after Arsenal. Expected before the game because we didn't play that great against Brentford. Probably could have got something out of that. And at the same time, we didn't get any sort of points in the Liverpool game. What were you feeling before this game came forward, knowing that Arsenal, you know, could be top of the league when they won today? Well, I mean, obviously we've got a decent record against them. But I think it's like more away at the Emirates. We seem to beat them yeah. more than home. Like they've come here a few times, New Year's Eve a few years ago, they did us. But um, obviously they're fighting for the Premier League title. And, um, so did you expect it to go this kind of this way today? I mean, I, I didn't expect to win. No. Um, obviously you want to win, you want to draw, but it is Arsenal, amazing squad, yep. amazing team. They're proper, like, glued to gel together. Consistency, aren't they? They're doing, yeah. Mm. And the past, they link up really well with each other. I was watching them, amazing. Yeah. But today, I think we played good in like the first 10 15 minutes. As yeah. soon as that pen came, it dropped our agree. heads. Agreed. As soon as the pen came and they scored that, I did think it dipped as well. I would agree with that. Yeah. But who do you think player of the match today? Who do you thought played a decent game? I've heard from Tony, uh, Bart for Bergen did pretty well with some couple of saves. I personally think Julio Ciso built the atmosphere and definitely built you know, motivation going forward. Who do you think? I think Esther Pinyam was quite good today. He played better. Yeah, yeah I agree with that. But I agree with you and Ciso, he was amazing today. Yeah. He, you know he scored against City and Chelsea, every game he always tries to get another one, doesn't he? He's a bit of a long shot merchant now, isn't he? Um, yeah. yeah, but it doesn't always go his way, does it? No. Yeah. But at least he's having a go, and it, to be fair, he got one on target. But you know, Raya have to make the save for that. So, um, yeah, fair play to him. But Josh, appreciate you coming on, mate, for an interview. And well, well done to you, Gunners. You're at the top of the table now. Let's see what you can do to keep it up there. This race between you guys and Liverpool and Man City. Hey, love it, love it, love it. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. We love it. The old atmosphere is rolling in as the Arsenal fans. We're talking about them. Um, anyways. <laughs> That is the end of the video guys, thank you very much for watching Arsenal fans, Brighton fans, make sure you subscribe, turn the bell notifications on, it's been your boy and it's Brighton, come on you Burnley, let's go and do them, yes! All day we wait until the night we get the drinks, the girls, the guys and walk and talk about the night, so right, so let's go on and turn it on, the special song for you to like, call disrespect and that's fine, no seriously, I'm fine, I'm feeling so damn happy, the feeling won't just stop me, I guess I'm mesmerised, your beauty makes me dizzy.